Hello there guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince with another Total War Attila Tournament match. It's Cup of Nations 2015, Attila Tournament, second group stage. Group 6, match between me, I'm playing as the Allens, and Lurt, who is playing as the Visigoths. Uh, again, it's on planes. And I'm going to go over the builds very, very shortly. Again, as you probably know, <laughs> my build, anyway, I'm just going to really do it quick. So I have a Germanic Noble in the center behind all units. He has Brace, a bit more forward, four Germanic Archers supported by three Germanic Pikes. On the right flank I have three Sarmatian Warband with three Gold 1 Germanic Horsemen on the left. Basically the same thing except the Germanic Horsemen are, well, one is Gold 1 and the other two are Silver 2. Now for, uh, for alerts, let's see, he has all the way in the back a bunch of Germanic horsemen, it's basically six of those, all silver one, it's very interesting. Then we have the Germanic noble general with rally. We also have three Germanic archers. And up front, let's see, we have a lot of swords, so no pikes by him. Which swords would it be? So a mix of Gothic Palatina defectors and noble Germanic swords, it seems. He has one, two, three, four. Five Gothic Palatina, six Gothic Palatina defectors, and then a noble Germanic swordsman on each flank. So eight swords. He has a huge advantage in terms of the sword contingent, because again he has eight to my six, but I have three pikes. And I have a skirmishing advantage because I have four Germanic archers to his three. And overall my cavalry is stronger than his. So that is the trade-off for him, I guess. But let's hit play and see how the battle unfolds. Cause uh, certainly it's gonna prove to be an interesting one, I think. Clash of the builds here. Probably gonna fast for a little bit because, as you can see, we have not really engaged. <laughs> um, he's trying to overload my right flank, and obviously, I see this. Now, we're gonna start the skirmishing engagement, which I feel I should be able to win fairly easily. I have four against three, and I'm targeting, targeting two different units because otherwise, they. they it would be weird, like the units would kind of mess each other up. Though I am losing a fair amount of my own archers, he's losing more, I believe. So that's a good trade for me. And here, I, at this point, I'm like, okay, he's overextending a little bit. I'm just gonna pull back, pull back my Sarmatian warband, support with the Germanic noble general, sending more cab in as well. But I'm still getting rid of his Germanic archers fairly quickly here. I'm getting prepared with more Germanic horsemen. So this one, I'm feeling fairly confident in defending my right flank against this attack. The thing is, I haven't moved these guys quickly enough to my right flank. And now I'm gonna start the engagement. I actually get into three of his units, so I'm like, okay, this is good. I killed a lot of the Gothic Palatina defectors. And now I'm able to come in with the Summation Warband. I also get a nice charge off into his Gothic Palatina defectors here. Also get a charge into this noble Germanic swordsman. So this one I'm like, okay, I've definitely won this flank. But my infantry support is a little bit late. I'm gonna get get some pike units here too, more Sarmatian warbands, but this is a huge blob. I shouldn't be blobbing like this. But again, I've got more cavalry coming in to support, more Sarmatian warbands, which I'm gonna use to support here. Uh, again, the Germanic horsemen for me have been doing well here. I'm starting to lose my archers somehow more quickly than he does. So here I'm gonna get a nice charge off into the Noble Germanic Swordsman, as you can see it's doing a lot of damage to it. And I'm gonna get another charge off, again over here, should do even more damage and probably route his units. And I'm gonna flank around with another uh, cab unit, sending in more Sarmatian Warbands. Over here with the Pike unit, I'm feeling fairly confident, but somehow it's not really doing anything here. One kill and about 20 lost. So here I'm like, okay, I've got this Germanic Horseman ready, I'm gonna go for his Gothic Palatine Defectors, but he's pulling them back right now, which is the smart move, because then I can't get charges off. Uh, not great for me. I do give another order, though, to charge his Germanic Horseman. So I should win that engagement, because mine are... Uh, have one more upgrade, I'm, I believe, and they, are, they have more men in the unit. But he's got Palatine Defectors to support. Still, though, my right flank, I feel like it's gonna go really well for me here. And I'm charging the wrong unit here. Yes, I'm flanking him, but I'm also getting flanked myself by the Gothic Palatina defectors. But at this point, I think, at least to myself, that this is gonna go really well, right? 
But he's got Gothic Palatina Defectors here, and even with the Pike support, these Pikes don't seem to be doing too well. I am going to beat the Noble Germanic Swords with my Sarmatian Warband over here eventually. But yeah, overall I'm feeling fairly confident because I have all these Germanic Horsemen left. And, uh, yeah, but the thing is, my general will be in some trouble. And I need to kill this Germanic Horseman unit, but I'm not targeting it because, you know, uh, friendly fire. And I've got two Germanic Pikes over here. This Germanic Pike has got seven kills and lost, like, half the unit very, very badly. So now I'm gonna start targeting the cavalry unit over here because I can't let that be alive at all. Because if I do, it's just gonna come around flanking. Uh, also going to target some other cavalry units as well. I'm targeting this one just to try and get rid of it as fast as possible. Now it's gone, but my left flank isn't going too well at all for some reason. These bikes have not really done anything. Despite being in support, they have just gotten destroyed. Now I'm going to get a, an excellent rear charge off though. But it's not... didn't really get too many kills. Actually, it did, got, did get a significant amount of kills, but I still haven't been able to route this flank off for him sadly. I've got some mission warbands coming around though, more of them as well. And here I'm gonna kill off this Germanic Horseman. This one should also start dying soon. Uh, hopefully my Germanic Horseman come around though. But this unit for him hasn't routed off the field yet. Thing is he's got this Germanic Horseman in an amazing position. And sadly I have not been able to route these Gothic Palatina defectors before my units routed. At least I mean finally I routed that but Still, and at this point, you can see I have like doubled the, the count in terms of men, but... And he's gonna make a, what I would say a mistake here, because he's just gonna go into my pikes with his cav. And he's also gonna make another mistake here, which is lose this other Germanic uh, cav unit. I have one Germanic horseman that came back, though, uh, luckily for me. Here, as you can see, his Germanic horseman unit is getting skewered. Not quite sure what he's doing here. Also gonna get rid of this Gothic Palatina defector. I'm targeting this Germanic Horseman now, so, so at this point I'm like, okay, the game's looking like it's in the bag, right? Look, I have 740 men, he has 340, and like, at this point it's going really well. This Germanic Horseman, though, is being very, very annoying. It's actually rear-charging my Germanic Pikes, so that's bad for me. But I'm flanking with the Sarmatian Warband, so I'm like, okay, it's gonna go well, right? Now I'm gonna route the Germanic Horseman, though my Sarmatians over here will get routed by Gothic Palatinas. I mean, I have more Sarmatians on the field, but as you can see, 670 to 280. I mean, at this point, I'm like, okay, I definitely won this game, right? I've got a lot of uh, units. I'm pulling back my general. My general is still alive, so this is good. But he dies. He dies as I pull him out. Sadly for me, and at this point, it's, it might actually just... Actually, I think that's what... Turn the game around because all these archers that I have, all of these archers which still had ammo, are gonna start routing off the field. And now his Sarmatian, yes, I have Sarmatian Warband, but all his units are somehow not routing. Look, they're exhausted. 45 men left, 43 men left, 54. Somehow they're not routing, which makes no sense to me. Like, they were so low and they were getting flanked by this unit, but I have unable to, been unable to do it. So now I'm gonna rear charge, well not rear charge, but charge frontally into these Gothic Palatina defectors. But at this point actually he's turned it around and despite me using arrows to hopefully route his units, my unit route. And that is game, but it was a huge turnaround for him. Very, very close game. Uh, so let's see. In terms of statistics, Sarmatian Warband did alright for me, Germanic Nobles not very well. Some of my Germanic Horsemen did well though. His Gothic Palatina Defectors overall did extremely well though. Some of his Germanic Horsemen, actually none of them did too well except for this one. But yeah, that is game, so I hope you guys and girls enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment or subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Share the video and I shall see you next time.